raining right now, so sometimes oh. people don't show up because oh, I mean, <laughs> you know, oh, they're they very romantic. They, Sunny yeah. and Cher in the rain, boy. Oh yeah, I'll get a, I'll get a text seven o'clock morning. What'd you say about my boy? <laughs> what the heck, man? Leave me alone. Well, well, I'll keep my ear open. Oh my, what? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go through the proper channels. Of course I. Oh yeah, I kind of know what you're yeah. talking about. I couldn't remember yeah. who we were yelling. Who we were talking. <laughs> yeah. There's so many people on that list right now. I'm, I, I might start them with seven yeah. called bullet points. I become you uh, oh, back in 2005, 2006. Oh, oh I love that. Everybody. Oh, I love that bullet. So, what the heck is wrong with people, man? That, and then of course I call Vince and he says, "Well, if I'm the proper channel, I'm out of the office." I said, "Dang, why didn't I think that bullet? Why didn't I think okay, proper channels?" Yeah, yeah I, I know. Oh my, he said, "Well, I'll just keep my ears open." What? All right. Yeah. All right. No threats. Yeah, no, no threat. Down to action. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Dad, you don't work. You wrestle. You hear the claps. You know what time it is. George, how was your week? Well, I'm throwing the white flag in. I'm telling you, wrestling <laughs> is dead. Oh, my gosh. Boy, what a great week. Everybody had a bad week except us, boy. Yeah. Of course, we didn't drive 4,000 miles to go to a show, and it got canceled. A little bit more about that a little bit later, boy. Okay. But anyway, uh, what a great weekend I had, boy. I want to thank everybody that came out to the racetrack. We finished up another great season of Raceway Ministry down there at the uh, racetrack. Great food, great breakfast. Just had a great show uh, that morning. It was kind of neat. We had a couple that was actually came to the race from over the pond where you had just came from. They were actually here for the race. Very and cool. stuck around for the free food, of course, and got to see the wrestling. It was just a great, great day that morning. And, of course, that night I headed down to Asheboro, which I enjoy going there. Uh, uh, just to refresh your memory, uh, that's where me and you had that great match last Thanksgiving. That's yes. our annual Thanksgiving uh, Charlie Brown get-together mm -hmm. for me and you. Uh, and, again, uh, by the way, he's going to run again this Thanksgiving, so we'll have to check with Miss Bullet see if everything's check okay. But, uh, anyway, uh, so that show was a success that night, but, of course... I won't get into it right yet till we pull up the big, big idiot bag. But uh, 20 minutes down the road, they had a big fiasco going down there. And I can see both sides of it. It's just, uh, you know, oh, my gosh. But here's what I've always said, Bullet. I want to thank everybody. First of all, man, I sold three books. I sold three books at the racetrack, Bullet. Just, okay. uh, of course, I've been there every year with it. But these people said they didn't even know I had a book. So just means i got to push it a little bit more, Bullet. But anyway, uh, thank those people for buying that book. I sold one that night in Asheboro, so the book's doing real, real good, and I just thank you for, for helping me plug it along. We are slowly creeping up on 100 episodes, mm -hmm. Bullet. So anyway, I just uh, thank everybody for tuning in, Bullet. Had a great, great week. Got a good week this week, uh, Bullet. Uh, Friday night, going back down to Union. Seems like I've been going down there to Derrick's a lot, down there mm -hmm. for Trans South, but this Friday, it's actually going to be the big fair. This time at the fairgrounds, it ain't just going to be wrestling. It is the fair this year. Yeah. And, of course, he's right in the middle of it. So we're going to be right down there Friday night. And, of course, Saturday I'm headed back up to uh, Rhonda, North Carolina. Okay? Mm -hmm. Up there where there's no cell phone service. I mentioned that on our great mm -hmm. TV help show. Help me, Rhonda. Yeah. Yeah, help, 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 oh, help, help, help me, Rhonda. Uh, also with the same name of the young lady that uh, uh, won't have nothing to do with me right now. But that's a whole other story. Oh, that's well, that's going to be the That's going to be the love a connection episode that we do one day, okay? okay. Uh, we're going to have three Rhondas there, and I'm going to, uh, of course, I'll choose the wrong one. But anyway. And I'll say we'll be back in two and two. <laughs> oh, I love that, Bullet. That's very good, yeah. man. Very good. But anyway, with all that being said, uh, Bullet, uh, I do want to bring out our idiot bag, if you don't mind. Jeff Smith okay? bag. Yeah, Jeff Smith bag. Again, and I know I've had a few people write me this week, say, what's the latest? Of course, since I blocked him and his wife, uh, I blocked them both, have not heard anything back. I did thank the kids, but Bullet, this just says everything, and I'm being serious here for a minute. If you went, before I blocked him, because I, I had somebody do it, if you went to his Facebook page, Bullet, just, I guess people did out of curiosity, uh, even though, uh, I, you know, because I mentioned something about his kids. His gun, uh, his kids, a true story, his kids are very young. Guess what they're sitting there. <laughs> this should worry me, I guess, but guess what they're sitting there holding. Yeah. A gun. So I rest my story. I rest my case. Leave. But, but, but see, if he's a World War II veteran, George, he's 90, so his kids would be 60. <laughs> so I think they're kind of allowed to hold a gun. Oh, Actually, I don't. I don't know too many 60-year-old uh, uh, white males in North Carolina that don't own guns. These are the littlest kids I've ever seen that are 60 years old. That's all I'm saying. The Benjamin Boy. Button style. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's so. exactly right. So anyway, this week, Bullet, I just want to touch on this because I know everybody's been talking about it. What's so funny, Bullet, we can do, we, me and you plug great shows here every week. Nobody says a word. You do one bad one, Bullet, boy, they come out of the woodwork and it's the talk of the wrestling world. But anyway, I guess I hate to see our buddies and stuff get shafted and stuff like that. But you know what we've always said? This is professional wrestling bullet. There is no code of honor anymore. You know that. There is no handshake. That doesn't give nobody a right to screw anybody. But it happened this past week, of course, bullet. And uh, I knew it was going to happen. I mean, I, told, I tried to, uh, to, to wave the flag, bullet, and tell people, don't go. Don't go to High Point. Dad, burn it. They went anyway. Uh, I went on the reference that I was still being owed money from, from a long time ago. So, uh, with all that being said, Bolt, what I want to do is not just throw, because we can throw anybody in the idiot bag. Uh, I want to throw everybody, including me, because here's what I heard. The one show that I don't go to, making a stand, uh, the Highway Patrol gave away tables and chairs to the talent that didn't get paid. Dang! But isn't that owned by the, the, the building? Well, well, here's what I found out. Okay. This certain promoter actually couldn't pay the boys, but he bought chairs and tables. That's what my well, I'm, gl I'm glad I asked that question. Very good question. That was my first question to my son who actually worked the show, and he was just happy. He was the happiest person out of it all because this rock and roll band, who were very good, actually played his entrance music. Very triple ish I'm telling you right now. So my son did that. He said, people got paid. I didn't know that. He said, I'm happy with the, the DVD, the CD of him going to the ring. But uh, that's what the question I ask. How did the Highway Patrol have a right to do that if the building owned that, uh, that stuff? Uh, but that, uh, but uh, he had purchased that stuff for the event. So uh, the few guys that were still left hoping that he, the guy may come back and pay him. I know one individual that left with 60 chairs, brand new chairs. He actually screwed the promoter, <laughs> I think, Bullet. It wouldn't have been cheaper to pay the guys, but anyway. I'd have just loved to have the three Walmart tables. We're not talking about this cheap stuff. We're talking about them big Walmart tables. So, Which, of course, everybody's is saying, yeah, way wait, to wait, wait, stick it to a guy that was trying to screw people over. But I remember a story uh, of a kind gentleman uh, that wears a bandana from time to time and brings a ring to a show. Similar predicament. Promoter didn't have enough money, but he had all this stuff out on a gimmick table. Pete Rose autographs, uh, wrestler autographs, old magazines. And it's that certain individual who brings a ring and sometimes wears a bandana and goes to Mexican restaurants on Thanksgiving <laughs> was willing to take magazines and some autographed pictures in exchange for uh, yes. the ring. Yeah. And then everybody thought it was uh, shady of you. Exactly. For you even to take something that was offered to you. Yes, remember that, boy? Yes. So, so, but everybody's heralding this guy, but they dog you. So Ain't thought, it funny how times have changed times in the have wrestling changed. world? But only so. a few Thanksgivings. Thank you for bringing that and rehashing that, because that is a very good point, Bullet. I was the bad guy, or the guy with the bandana and the ring yeah. on Thanksgiving. It, well, it's allegedly, me. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> me eat Mexican on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Uh, but I do remember. And remember, the promoter was never mentioned of. He was the savior. He was the he was the hero. Everybody's feeling but, bad because you were actually taking something to compensate to bring your ring, that, which he offered up, no he, less. He sure did. Which I at least appreciate him going. Listen, I don't have anything. All I got is I got right this, and yeah. and you were willing, to, and you being the, the wrestling buff that you were, saw a few magazines you didn't have you know okay well the, the yeah. day is not over that's and, right but but then you look like the bad guy because you took something that's from him. exactly right bullet thank you so much so and, and again to see all of that with this event where the promoter's strictly the bad guy and i do feel sorry for those guys that made a lot of i mean some of them guys drove a long ways bullet and didn't get probably nothing and even if they did get a table you don't want to drive all the way back to new jersey with a uh, 18 table. foot table in the back seat. But it just uh, goes back to something that Colt Cabana said. You know, even if the promoter's like, all I can give you is a sandwich, yeah. you got to get something. Yeah, that's exactly you, right. You, you got to get something to make it wor worth your while. And, and sometimes people take things that, are, but it's whatever. You got to get something out you of You sure do. Or else, why are we doing That's it? exactly right. So, what I'm going to do this week, Bullet, not only the promoter, I, be, I think I'm going to throw everybody, including me, who missed out on the tables and chairs, mm -hmm. the whole crew there in High Point will go into the idiot bag. Okay. Okay. Except the Highway Patrol. I want to get that straight. He's he's cool. I ain't putting him in here because I may need... Oh, no, I got to tell you another quick story here real quick. But anyway, okay. throwing all them into the idiot bag, okay. uh, Bullet. And then so... But leave it open. I got one oh. more I got one more guy right here that I just thought of. I got to tell he's, everybody He's this. just right here. So he's right this, on the edge. Yeah, he's right here. Uh, the, the whole show filled up about that, but we got, we got this much. Oh, anyway, Bullet, real quick story here. And this is how stupid people are that had no sense. 
uh, took my son Garrett, not him, because I love him. Me and Garrett had a chance. I was off the road that morning, Saturday morning. Me and him go to McDonald's to eat a little breakfast. Just me and my son, father of the year stuff is what I'm talking about. Yeah. So uh, I'm in line. We're in line to get our biscuit, and there is a highway patrolman. That's what made me think of it. There's a nice highway patrolman in front of us, and he orders his, his food. So me, not to brag or look good in front of my son, I just said, let me, let me get that, sir. And I, I know, bullet, I was feeling it. You, we, we, Listen, we, hey. 2014. Blessed. Listen, 2014. The I'm Sarah. Listen, when I'm blessed with the book sales, the country will be blessed. Is all I'm saying. But I ain't gonna put all. Listen, that you can only put so much in a mason jar. Don't quote me in that, okay, boy. But anyway, here's how, here's how stupid I people would are. So, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I said, let me get this, officer. No, sir, you don't have to. He said. We don't get that a lot. I said, no, I don't mind at all because I did good with my book. And he, we kind of laughed. So anyway, I bought his food. And as soon as I said that, this stupid redneck behind me said, hey, buddy. Hey, pat, pat me on the shoulder. He said, hey, buddy, you still got that meth lab in Charlotte? I know. I know. And who he thought was being funny, okay? And it didn't get no pop at all. I'm telling you, boy, it was it was. It was almost like uh, Mick Foley against Milma Scares and WCW. I mean, that, that's that's kind of that level. You kind of wonder what happened. You understand? Almost like Eric Watts and Paul Orndorff. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, he, with that being said, it, the whole McDonald's got quiet. And the guy looked like a complete idiot. And so what me and my quick Rodney Dangerfield thinking, I said, no, no, buddy. I said, it ain't meth anymore. I said, we do the strong stuff. And I swear, the highway patrolman high-fived me. He <laughs> high-fived me because he, and he, when he went to get his drink, I went over to get mine, and he says, you know, he said, that guy probably needs to get with the times. He said, I don't know if we, if people really do the meth lab thing anymore. <laughs> so we kind of laughed at that idiot. But leave, stay out of my stuff, bullet. That's all I'm saying. So the one redneck that thought I had a meth lab in Charlotte will go in the idiot bag, too, for interrupting in my just my moment, boy. I just yeah. want to do something for my patrol because Lord knows in my ring truck, he may pull me over, boy, one day, and maybe he'll remember that biscuit I bought him. Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, anyway, just leave me, leave George alone in his little moment there. And of course, you know, the guy thought he was going to get a big, you know, he thought he was going to get a Road Warrior pop, but he didn't. No, boy, he didn't. He, did. he, he got the uh, Road Warrior animal and, uh, oh. New breed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. I get it. Road yeah. Warrior and uh, Draw. Yes, drop. gosh, yes. that's what I was thinking of. And the one that they stuck in for a minute, uh, Hydrite. Hydrite too. Yeah. It was a good guy, but that didn't work either. So uh -huh. anyway, with all that being said, Bullet, a lot of a lot of goofs going on, Bullet. We filled up the bag this week, and uh, we got a busy week. But where will you be at this weekend, if I may add, Bullet? I will uh, be at Northeast Wrestling. I will be attending uh, an event with his main evented by. Uh, Hardy Boys Young Bucks again. Oh, oh. So this is the second installment installment uh, of that feud that is going on right now. Uh, last time we were there, they pulled up both sides of the bleachers. Had almost oh, two thousand people oh, there, wow. and that was for uh, Matt Hardy and AJ Styles. So I can only imagine Hardy Boys Young Bucks too. Yep. What's going to happen at this one? Crosby High School in Waterbury, Connecticut. Uh, that's where I will be at. So it's going to be a long Good. weekend. Good. Of course, you'll you'll come back. You, is that that's the whole weekend, or are you just up 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 and back? I'll be Whoops. up and back. I got to make a few deliveries to some undisclosed slow, location. Uh, the you know a, a secret place in Connecticut that may or may not have a Punjabi prison <laughs> in it. Uh, but I got to drop some stuff off there. So, uh, but anyways, I got 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 that, and then I come straight back. I'm going to try and eat healthy. Uh, and you had a good weekend this week too with some of the uh, the shows that you. I were would at. I would say so, George. But I, I, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw I'm gonna be a little bit you for a oh, second. Oh, I love that. Because apparently uh -oh. you hold the book right now. Let me tell you something, goofs. <laughs> apparently, setting up a ring is is about as confusing as rocket science, because. You know, I've got a crew of people that they're rotating in. We don't carry too many people because nobody wants to do it. That's right. Uh, but we had Kate, me and Stan Lane. I was going to call him his real name, but yeah. I call him the George yeah, South yeah, name. That's right. Me Stan and Stan Lane. Lane and Jerry Sags were up there, and we're, we're setting up the ring. Well, one of the people that were up there decided to help out. And it's, a, it's a, that, that one part of the ring where you put in the, the bottom beams and then you, you got to put the top beams, but the bottom beams got to go in first, and you got to be yeah. real careful because this happens all the time. Is that guy on the end just lets that bottom yes, game go and it drops on the floor? Yes, it That's does. Immaculate, immaculate. Oh gosh. Greatest oh, gym oh. floor of all time. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little worried, and there's this one oh. guy carrying one, one pole, and I'm taking it to the other side, and I go, just wait, he's gonna let this oh, go. Oh gosh. Sure I'm enough, 
Oh, dropped flat. Damn, right oh. on this immaculate hardwood floor. Basketball season just around the corner. Oh, dropped. Oh, I look at him with a look of death, <laughs> and then he looks back at me. <laughs> my bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Mom, what do you think I'm going to say to the superintendent when he says there ain't going to be no wrestling there anymore? We, am I going to say my oh, bad? I'm crazy. Am I going to say my bad? <laughs> so we get through that oh, scenario. Oh, my God. We get Boy. through that. We get through the show. Oh, gosh. I, I, I of course, wrestled the, the high school wrestling coach, but also, oh, too. Uh, probably the best match on the show. I, I went, well, unfortunately, high school wrestling not very good there. <laughs> They don't like to coach very oh, much. There. So the, once Bill again, my big heel, probably. Yeah, my yeah, it was a big heel. People were cheering for me to beat the crap out of him. <laughs> but that's okay. I like being over. It's okay. But anyways, come time for the end of the night. His, he, but at least his his his. So therefore, I'm over because I beat the crap out of the wrestling coach. Some of his wrestlers come help me with the ring. That's great. But guess who shows back up again? Oh my gosh. My bad, buddy. <laughs> who has a kid? Who has a kid? No less. Who? Decides that it's a good time to start playing basketball. You could tell what the wrestling show did for that yeah, kid to yeah. inspire him yeah, so much to start right. playing basketball. So you can only tell how good and the wrestling show is. this show's loaded. Yeah, with, this show I mean, is Scott loaded, was, but apparently it didn't inspire him no. to go, I want to go wrestle with my, my friends. No, no, I'd rather just play basketball <laughs> now the rest of my life. So he's playing basketball right at where i got to carry all of this heavy steel. Ouch. And he's just bouncing around. It's, it's the kid of, of the my bad guy. George, this is going to be in my highlight reel. Look out, Mr. Perfect, because here I come. I was carrying a ring pole. His kid was bouncing the ball. As he's bouncing the ball, I walk right by him with, with a ring pole in hand. I kick that ball, not losing a beat, kick that ball <laughs> on the down dribble. It bounces off the wall and shoots inside of behind the bleachers, oh. wedged in there. Oh, like to see you do that, Kurt Hennig. Oh, oh, I love that. That's gonna be my highlight reel. Oh, wow. It's me being addicted. One take. Me One being take. addicted to people doing hard work. Like you're gonna see me behind <laughs> a, a, a gimmick table hitting home runs. That's gonna be what I, wow. that my highlight reel is gonna wow. be. Wow. So I oh. felt a little bit of satisfaction oh in doing it. Oh my gosh, good for you, boy. But hey. but but there was a little oh. difficulty of trying to explain to somebody how it it all lays. In the trailer, I, I just fed up and yeah. I just I gave up and walked away. Yeah. But but apparently setting up the ring, I, it, we don't put up how hard it is on this show enough. So that, that's exactly right. I, I'm good, just good, saying. good point, Bullet. Very good point. But, but I'm just saying, just 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 listen, and don't play basketball that, while exactly I'm trying, right. trying to carry out some. I steel. hate that more than anything, Bullet. Many many times, and and, and, and we we get upset over this. We hoot and holler, but I'm gonna tell you. You don't, folks watching here that don't have a clue how many buildings have been destroyed by something just stupid like that bullet, just, just, just not paying attention. Floor. And like you said, that's what, that's all they think. My bad. That's it. My bad. He gets in his car and goes home. You're the one that has to deal with the coach, the gym, or whatever. And then the promoter's the one that's trying to get it back in there because there's always that person that's trying to find a reason not to have wrestling. That's that exactly day. right. And even now, Bullet, no, even here in the Carolinas, any building or school you go to, that is that not the first question? Even the ones we get into, the first question is, what what about my gym floor? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do about my gym floor? So, uh, Well, with all that being said this week, and while we let uh, Cher calm down, or Sonny, well, I'm all confused here, yeah. uh, one thing that is not dropped on the floor, and if it does, it bounces right back. Oh, George, is. I love that. <laughs> Oh, I love you. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Is this second greatest book ever written? Dad, you don't work. You wrestle at HighSpots.com. <laughs>should have saved this for the hundredth episode. <laughs> Dang! Can we? I don't know. Boy, we're gonna. We gotta like switch it well, or just repeat it. It's, it's close to Halloween. Yeah, so that's true. Halloween